Hi, welcome back to Beating Crazy Custom Creations. I'm Miss Francis. This is Miss Jeannie, and I bet you can guess by my hat what we're going to do today. We're going to do steampunk today. Now, I have already started the clock because I wanted the wheel to be a different color. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear this hat through this whole video, but anyway. Um, of course, my granddaughter said it looked like Willy Wonka's hat. <laughs> Thanks, Bella. <laughs> anyway, uh, I started pouring it. I poured the wheel, and then some of it ran up to the tricycle or clock. So that's what we're doing, steampunk. And this is what we've done so far. There's the wheel. It's steampunked up. Well, I mean, I could have crammed more in there, but those were little spaces, so I went with what I had that was small. Now, my idea is to pour this, and that reminds me, I need to grab, let me grab my chameleon colors. Because I was going to fling some in there seen someone else do it I thought it looked pretty cool so that we're, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna flip some in there of these colors of this let's resin chameleon patterns all right so the center is gonna be I'm gonna try and do this all in clear with chameleon patterns flipped in there in basically in the center then the outer edge you know it's gotta be purple it's genies. It has to be purple. So, um, let me let me jump off and mix up my resin. I don't know exactly how much it's going to take. I think Miss Wanda said it takes eight ounces, but I've already got the wheel done, so uh, I don't know. I'm just going to mix some up and hope I mix up enough. And divide it up because clear is what I'm going to use in this part right here if I could possibly do it. And then the outer edge is going to be in her purple. So let me get the resin mixed up and we'll be back. Alright, you're going to hear the vacuum machine running in the background because I got another partial cup of resin in there. But this is what it looks like after it's come through the machine. It has a few little micro bubbles in it, but not like it did. So, I'm going to try and just pour the, oops, as soon as I get the hair out of there, just pour the center enough so I can lay my cogs down. it will just disperse there and I won't have to help it and let it move in it would move in. Doesn't seem to want to. There we go. Alright. Hopefully I won't have to run that one again. It doesn't have as much in it as the other. Okay. So now we're just going to start dropping these cogs in now that I have a layer down in a random fashion here. Anything that I want shown on the other side, I'm going to put in upside down. Uh, now I need them up here where I can get to them. Oh, okay. Set that over there for the moment. 
Hopefully that'll lay down enough that I won't have to worry about the hands getting... I don't know. Hope your hands don't get caught on that thing. Yeah, well. Get them all in there, all that we originally had picked out. the air out and hopefully look at it then and see if it's okay. I don't really want to touch it with my hands. I think I've already gotten epoxy on it. here. 
Well, darn it. Get in there. Barely. There we go. Maybe. Nope. Well, it's in there. I don't know that we're going to get them all in there. We want it to be steampunked up, but I don't want to go too far over where your hands or your clock is hitting them. sticking up too far. I don't want to go too far. I'm trying to make sure because I don't want the hand of the clock to be hitting any of this and some of them sticking up just a little too much. Like that little skeleton head. It's sticking up a little too much. That one I maybe should have moved to maybe that outer edge there and I might have been able to get that one in maybe it'll go yeah it's there it's laying down about as much as it's gonna lay hopefully those around there will be okay I think we're good unless you want me to try and cram the rest in no. Okay. So we're going to take the rest of this clear that I mixed up. And we're going to pour. I really don't want to go over where the numbers are. I kind of want to keep that all in there clear because I'm going to flip some colors in there. Maybe I should be pouring it in towards that way. And let it run out. Let's see what happens. Don't look like it's running too much, does it? Mm -mm. I do need to fill these over the top. Any of them that are sticking up. Come on. I don't want you to go over, but <laughs> I think it's probably going to happen anyway, whether I want it to or not. Pretty much call that good. Actually, because I really just I got the other and hopefully it'll be enough to pour the outside. color I'm gonna flick some color in to the center over those oh shoot what I kind of put that in there because I'm not tech color I kind of 
let it drip right there in the center part. Uh oh. Where I did not want it to drip. And that, and then we're going to flick some colors in there and swirl a little bit. And then I'm going to pour the outer edge in Miss Jean's color purple. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of just take my brush and I will wipe it off each time. It's got some color in it already. And I'm just going to stick it in there and just flip colors in the, all over the center part. And I don't want to go too crazy, but I want, I want some colors in there. was champagne from Let's Resin. Let's go with magenta. Well, I didn't, I wasn't trying to flick them all in one spot, but I'll swirl it, I think, a little bit. Just the top color anyway. I don't want to be moving the cogs around a whole bunch. Let's do some teal. Feet flat. <laughs> Wasn't even thinking about it. I'm sure you don't notice it as much because, you know, it happens all the time. about galaxy but we're gonna we're gonna use some of all the colors don't have to use a lot but um I see now I think Claire off of Crafty Corner did this Claire's Crafty Corner is that what it's called? Yeah, she did this on her steampunk. I just thought it was kind of cool, and I'm thinking that I will probably swirl it a little bit because I don't I want the colors to kind of not all be stuck in one spot. This is either the gold or the mint. Golden. Last one is mint. All right. 
now. We're gonna let that set for, well, I don't wanna let it set too long, but I don't wanna be swirling the pieces. So I'm just gonna try and swirl the colors just a little bit. I mean, cause I'm already getting like a coating there and I don't like breaking the coating, but some of them I got a little too much in there. I'd like to swirl it. Just a little bit. All right. Well, I kind of want some towards the edge, and I don't think I got the edge very good. It's just gonna, you just, you're just gonna be able to see it. All right. Now. The other that I got, I hope there's enough. I'm going to mix some Kaleidoshit from Solar Color Dust called Voltage. It's more of a purple, but I have a little bit of purple that she has mixed with so, another project that she did. She mixed this purple with some glow in the dark, so I'm gonna dump it in there too and try and come up with the correct purple here. Of course, any purple's correct for her. She doesn't mm -hmm. care as long as it's purple. But I have some of this left, so I'm I am put it in a container. Uh-oh. I didn't put it on there. Yeah, I think I did. Okay. I'm going to brush it, the rest of it in there. We'll just clean the container out for the next time we mix stuff up. Okay. Mix this and see if it's the right consistency of purple. This is getting warm. I'm going to have to get it poured because it is getting warm. And y'all know I'm not good at pouring small spaces. So we'll see what happens. I'm really thinking I should put this in a different cup. Just pour it in there a little bit so that I can squeeze it. Because I need some to go in here because it's not full all the way. And of course, you miss it the first time. very dark purple. I thought it would have been a darker purple. Maybe I'll darken it some more. No. I thought it would been darker than that. It's alright. Whoa. A little too much, Kay. I kind of made a mess there. I need to go just one drop right there. I know it's going to pull in and it's probably going to mess some of my clear up, but I don't really have a choice. Well, I don't really care about that. It's just going to kind of make it, I don't know, what do they call it, look kind of ombre. 
purple mixed in with the clear. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with that. I'm gonna mm -hmm. set that somewhere else because I need to be able to get around that clock and I need this. Sorry, I'm just concentrating on trying to get this filled up without overflowing it too much. I'm not talking about it. Just trying to concentrate. Oops, come on, Kay. Pay attention. It's going to mix in there somewhat. Who cares? I need to make sure that I, I got those. Because I noticed uh, Miss Wanda, she said the handles were, the handlebars were really thin. I need to make sure I poured enough in there. Well, I still have some left to do in case I. Something I don't know. I can't see very well. It's looking like it's full, but it's hard for me to tell. Okay, I got a little bit more. I don't want to try and pour what I need. Make sure the handlebars are filled up correctly. And if there's any left, I'm sure we got something over there. We can throw it in. Here, oh. Didn't really want it running down on the wheel. All right. I know you don't care, but I do. <laughs> Just kind of drip it in there and make sure I don't overfill them, but make sure they're full. Come on. That's a pretty thin spot right there, too. I guess I could just fucking go around the outside edge of that. It's not totally full, it'll just ombre in, but you'll still be able to see the rest of it, I think. Make sure it's full. I could still be able to see the steampunk stuff. The rest of it looks full. I don't know if I'm. Does it look full to you? Mm hmm. Except for the little wheel, it looks like it's missing a little bit on the big steampunk thing. It is. Oh, okay. Trying to pour the rest of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was right then. You're right. I was trying to get the rest of that out of there as much as I could so I could finish filling that in. And I gotta wipe up my mess here. I don't think it's 
pretty good. I don't want to overflow it. I can't. There ain't much left, really. No. I don't know if I need any more, but I'm going to go ahead and just pour it around there, and hopefully it won't overflow. If it does, it does. Won't be the first time I overflowed something. No. Probably won't be the last. <laughs> All right. I'm probably going to... That's trash. I'm going to scrape this out. These are the cups they give you with the your resin vac resin or vacuum machine and I kinda want to clean them out and use them again. So hopefully I didn't overflow it, but hey. It's getting a little thick. I had I had to run it through the resin the resin machine a little longer than I thought I was gonna have to. So you know it is what it is. It was just more than I thought I was gonna do. Um I don't know. I have to read the book. I mean I put the little um silicone cup that Miss Stacy sent me from Let's Resin. Thank you, Miss Stacy. Um you really couldn't see what it was doing really. It was hard to see with that cup in there. But it did you know the cup was vibrating so it did stop it from spilling in there. Because it would have vibrated right over to the side. Let's try and pop some of these bubbles here. Because I really don't want to spray it. Maybe we'll just um, plug up my heat gun and blow it around a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. And I know Jeannie won't care. She doesn't mind the bubbles. But I kind of don't want a bunch of bubbles in it. I do kind of like those colors. I hope they turn out the way I wanted them to turn out in the center. Just swirl them a little bit more. Try and get them swirled towards the edge where it's clear. more in there but I don't want to I think I got plenty in there I just wanted it towards the edge all right you guys I used uh, let's resin one-to-one not a fast cure this a regular cure um, I guess we'll be back in the morning. Um, I, I don't want to move this right now because, I mean, my heat mat, I need to get it out underneath my leveling board and put it on top. But it's so bubbled that I'm afraid it wouldn't help. But, I'm going to bring you in let you see what it kind of looks like closer.
and that might be a little is that blurry or is it just me <laughs> no, it looks okay looks blurry because of the color so that's what it looks like um we're gonna let it cure before we pull it out of there because that's what i want to do i don't want to I'm not going to put it on the heat mat. I'll just wait till tomorrow when it's cured and take it out. And for those of you who love my shirt, here we go. There's my t-shirt for the day. <laughs> All right. So we will be back tomorrow. To take it out of the mold and see how it turned out. See you tomorrow. Welcome back, y'all. Of course, you know we're doing steampunk. So that being said, let's get my t-shirt out of the way. <laughs> okay. Oh. Now, and we found some glow-in-the-dark hands to go on the clock. So let me get you down and we'll get it out of the mold. There we go. And I made sure that they glow because I went over them with a, a UV light and they glow. Okay, so here's all the parts for it. I'm going to light them over there for the moment because I need to get this out of the mold. And that's, that's kind of what it looks like before I take it out. That's what the back side looks like. All right, let's... Man, that turned out to be really light purple. Part of it's dark and part of it's light. <laughs> I should have put some more color in there. I knew that. Those are still a little bendy. The handlebars are. Maybe the rest of it. The seat, too. Come on. Okay. That'll be bendy, too. Let me get it down here so I can get it out. It's got a little overpour on it. Boy, that is really bendy. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I'll we'll have to leave it lay down. So, yeah, I got some overpour on it too. There you go. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can get a little closer look. All right. There you go. There's the little wheel with the cogs in it. And then there's the, there it is. And I just, I thought the colors would show a little more. I don't see the colors like I wanted to. Just little bits and pieces of it. But it's got plenty of steampunk stuff in it. What is that? Wow, I don't know what that is. A little air bubble there. I thought I got, I mean, I went around the edge. It's got a few little air bubbles in it. And it's still quite bendy. But we're going to go ahead and put the clock mechanism. Oh, hmm. yeah, I got a battery. I hope it works. Because I don't know. Okay, I think this goes over that. And I hope I have the longer stem to go in there. Yep. I just got to get it the way I want it. Okay. 
we'll probably have to take it back apart when she gets ready to go home. But until then, we're going to put it together and show everybody. And of course, I'll have to. I don't know if I'll do anything other than hand tighten it right now. Because I'm going to have to pull everything back off. Yeah, I'm going to have to pull it. Yep, see, it's pretty bendy. Probably should have left it. But we're going to put the stuff on it. And then we'll take it back off. Just so you can see it finished. Come on. I hate these little bags. They put this crap in. They're so hard to get open. Alright. Now, first one goes on is this one. Should go down a little further, but I can get it to go. And we'll see. I don't want to force it right now because I'm going to need to take it back off. Or just stick it on there. Come on. Well, maybe we are, maybe we aren't. Thought it would go on there a lot easier. I know it's gonna turn, but ouch. Be careful. I didn't want to hand do any more than hand tighten it because I'm gonna have to take it back off for when she goes home. So she'll be able to put it back together when she gets home. All right, now we're going to see if we have, I have a battery here. I just don't know if it's any good, but we're, we're going to find out. Wow, that really is so bendy. Okay. I'm trying to see if it tells you which... I know, but I think you have to put this side in first and then push that, hold that clock because I'm afraid I'm going to break, something's going to break off. It's so bendy. Oh, I'm going to break the hands off. You got your hand right over them too. Uh huh. That's, not That's why work. I moved. It's not going to work. Oh, there you go. It's moving. Yeah, but it's moving. It looks like it's moving backwards. But it's going. And they are glow in the dark, so we will hit them with some UV and then turn the lights out. Turn the light out. There you go. And the glow in the dark hands came in. Yep, see, it's bent. That hand is bent because it's getting caught on something here. There we go. Now it's moving again. Let me get that to glow here. There you go.
There's a steampunk clock with glow-in-the-dark hands. And I actually think it turned out pretty cute. Um, there's some things I wished I would have done. I wished I would have went over the numbers with some glow-in-the-dark so that they would glow. But all in all, I think it turned out really cute. So, I hope y'all liked it. I know Miss Jeannie's going to like it. We even put a clock in the little wheel for steampunk stuff in it. So, um, I wish it had been a little darker and I'd have went over with the glow in the dark. But I didn't know I had glow in the dark hands. It was in a kit that I bought. So, we're going to lay this down. I'm going to have to... I need something to prop under this. Now, I'm gonna have to go up higher than that. Okay. That's too high, I think. How about that, this, the... I don't know. Those are too high. Try the Scrabble thing, Scrabble tray. Uh, I think it might be too high also, but I don't know, I just... Yeah. Money's too high. I'm gonna find something to prop under it so it till it sets up. Or I may just take the clock mechanism. Alright, I'm gonna pause you for a minute. I'm gonna take the clock mechanism back out of it. Alright. I showed you it with the hands and the clock mechanism on it it works they do glow in the dark i took it back off because it's still pretty bendy and i really want it to lay out flat until it's not so bendy because it's really bendy right there and i don't want and this piece so i don't want and i have some pieces in them some of these little imperfections here are in the mold that's where they came from it looks weird but it is what it is i'm thinking i might go inside these numbers with some glow in the dark paint and see what happens so that way they'll glow too but that's done. That being said, I don't know what my next project Yeah, It's probably going to be dragons. Sorry. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. But, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me do my shout outs here. Wanda's Bless Creations. Stacy underscore the Crafty Cat. Rez C. Liz. India Brady Art. And I hope you're okay, Miss India. I hope you're going to be back to making videos soon. Art by me, Andrew Walker, Billy Holman Creations, Cosmic Carol Creations, Sam I Am Resin Crafts, Paranormal Girl, Mini Scenes GB, Loose Screws Craft, Cynthia's Crafts and More, Marvelous Artsy, and Marvelous... I'm so sorry to hear about your mom. I really am. Um, my prayers are with you. I just hope that, you know, she goes peacefully. And just know that she won't be in pain and she'll be in a better place. Um, Resin Nut. Toon Pish Crafts. Bex Crafts Designs. And Roseanne's Crafting Corner. That's all my shout outs. Um, like I said, the next video will be dragons. Because I have several that I need to color and make. So, and I don't know. Maybe it won't be dragons. Maybe it'll be some Halloween. Because I kind of got the Halloween thing from Miss Wanda. She's already <laughs> into Halloween in July. And I'm thinking, dang, I got a lot of Halloween molds. That I haven't even used yet. So, I would like to do some Halloween. So, I may do some Halloween. 
along with Miss Wanda. Because she's doing Halloween. Um, that's pretty much all I got. I'll figure out what it's going to be on the next one as soon as I look through my molds. Bye for now.